Ne, ne, ne. Yes, we are finally talking about the pronominal particle ne. As you remember, we talked about its partner in crime, the terrible little two-letter particle chi. And today we're going to be talking about ne. Ne is very difficult because it doesn't really have an equivalent with the English language. So sometimes it's difficult to understand when to use it and how to use it, okay? So honestly, you just simply have to learn how to use it correctly in Italian with the Italian grammar. This is going to be a long video lesson, but it's going to be a full lesson on this two-letter um, word that is ne. So go grab a pen and a piece of paper and start taking notes. If you do not want to take notes, you can download the PDF that I have made for you and you can find in the link below this video. Okay? All right, here we go. So what is ne? Ne is a pronoun. As I said, you don't really have an exact equivalent in English. And it unfortunately does have different meanings. If there is one little thing that I can say to help you to understand how to use this um, pronoun correctly is to associate it with quantities and amounts. Ne can have different meanings and one of its meanings can be um, similar to some in English. And in this case, it can be used without a noun, just like in English. Let's look at this example. Would you like some? How can you say this in Italian? In a very short way. Ne vuoi? Ne, in this case, is used like some. Okay? Let's look at a longer dialogue. Would you like some pizza? No, I already have some. How can you translate this in Italian? Vuoi della pizza? No, ne ho già. Look at the last sentence. Ne ho già. Ne can be substituted and translated with some. I already have some. Ne ho già. Ne answers the question quanto. Quanto means how much. So once again, you're linking it to quantities and amounts. Okay, this is the key to remembering ne, quantities and amounts. So it answers the question quanto, how much. Let's look at an example. Gianna, quante mele ti do? Ne voglio tre. Let's analyze this. We're asking Gianna to tell us how many apples she wants us to give her. And she replies, she wants three. You have quante, okay? So you're asking how many? You're asking for a quantity. And Gianna answers, ne voglio tre. So as you know, a pronoun is used when you are not going to repeat a part of a sentence that has already been mentioned in your previous conversation. In this case, what does ne refer to? Look at the sentences, Gianna, quante mele ti do? Ne voglio tre. Quante is how many. Ne refers to apples. You're not going to repeat apples, you're going to use the pronoun ne. Ne voglio tre. Quantities are mentioned because you're talking about three apples. In this exercise, you're talking about a definite amount of apples. So you're talking about three apples. But when you're talking about quantities, you can also talk about an indefinite number. So something that's not so specific, so precise as one, two, three. Okay? Vuoi del pane? Sì, ne prendo un po'. What does this sentence mean? Would you like some bread? Yes, I'll take some. Un po' means some. And in this case, just like in English, un po' and some are indefinite quantities. It's not a specific amount. It's not one kilo, three apples, 
two pieces of bread, okay? Let's look at our little pronoun, ne. Ne prendo un po. What does ne refer to? Ne is a pronoun that refers to bread. Ne prendo un po. Of what? What am I taking? Bread. Okay? So we said that we can use it when you have a definite quantity, an indefinite quantity, or also no amount at all. Let's look at this sentence. Quante biciclette hai? Non ne ho nessuna. So in this case, you do not have a specific amount. You actually have zero because you do not have any bicycle. Okay? Look at the pronoun. Non ne ho. Ne, what does that refer to? It refers to the bicycles. Be very careful when you're using tutti, tutta, tutte in the sense of everything. In this case, you will be talking about the entire quantity, not a part of a quantity, not an amount of a quantity. So in this case, you're not going to be using your pronoun ne, but you're going to be using the direct pronoun lo, la, li, le. I do have a video on direct pronouns. I will link it below this video. Look at this example. Quante caramelle vuoi? Le voglio tutte. Ne voglio una. Ne voglio un po'. So in the first answer, le voglio tutte, we have tutte, which means everything. So we're talking about the entire amount. If we're talking about an entire amount, we're not going to be using pronoun ne, but you're going to be using lo, la, li, le, so the direct pronoun. With the other two examples, I've shown you how, on the other hand, you can use ne. Ne voglio una. Una means one, so it's a definite amount. And ne refers to caramelle, in this case one, so caramella. And the last one is ne voglio un po'. Un po' is our indefinite quantity, but it's still a part of a whole. So you're using ne. Ne, once again, refers to caramelle. Okay, you can now breathe. Inspira, espira. Inspira, espira. I know I gave you lots of information, but I wanted to be very straightforward with this um, pronoun. If you like the video so far, give it a thumbs up and remember to download the free PDF in the link here below. To finish off this video, I wanted to give you a little quiz. How is this going to work? You will see a sentence on the screen and you will need to insert ne and also the verb. The verb, you will find it inside of the first sentence, okay? Be careful, you have to conjugate it correctly. Uh, you will see the, the sentence on the screen. Uh, you can stop the video if you need to think about it. Right after, um, you will be hear me read out the whole sentence. You can read it with me if you wanna do a little pronunciation exercise and I will basically read the correct sentence, okay? Marco, vuoi della Coca-Cola? Sì, ne voglio un bicchiere. Piera e Sandra compreranno i palloncini per la festa? Sì, ne compreranno una dozzina. Signora Bianchi, vuole altro tè? Sì, ne voglio ancora. Papà legge tanti libri? Sì, ne legge due o tre al mese. Avete una zia che vive in America? No, in realtà ne abbiamo due. Okay, here I am, I'm back. How did it go? I hope it went well. Please let me know if the video was clear. If you need further information, do not hesitate to get in touch with me. 
If you want more exercises on ne, I suggest that you grab your copy of the grammar book that I uh, suggested earlier on, um, I think a couple of months ago, but you can find the link below this video as well. It's um, an affiliation link. So uh, if you wanna support me, you can also support me by uh, buying through Amazon those books and I will get a little bit of a, a percentage on your purchase, okay? So thank you very much and see you next week. Un bacione a tutti. Ciao!